Hi, I'm Brandon Tanner, and this is Virtual Eats Guru, where barbecue and grilling is made tasty. So this is our YouTube channel, and we have a lot of fun here. Um, you know, and if you like barbecuing and tips and tricks and all that kind of stuff, what do you do? Like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss another video like this one. <laughs> so anyway, so we have a lot of fun doing this, and uh, recently, you know, I participate quite a bit on YouTube, you know, channels and things like that for tips and tricks. And then specifically on Facebook, there's some really good groups that are great, like Traeger Nation, Backyard Grill Masters, uh, Pellet Enthusiasts. I'm going to put detailed instructions and list all those groups in the description below. So if you hit the, you click the more button in the video, and it'll have not only the whole recipe and everything I'm doing here, but it'll have all those groups. And that's really what kind of was the genesis of making this video is I posted a few uh, photos of this Chicago-style deep dish pizza, and it went pretty nuts. So anyways, um, you know, as a result of that, I'm doing this video for the subscribers and for all you guys on the Facebook groups. Really appreciate that. Um, and so, like I said, we're doing a Chicago-style deep dish pizza, and you know, our family loves to go to Chicago and have the deep dish pizza. Specifically, uh, Giordano's and Gino East are our favorite. Gino's East are our favorite places to go. And so this one, I and I put I've put some links to the YouTube videos. I'll put either some up here in the up here where you can click the additional information icon, as well as down in the body. Um, but I I was searching this out and then found some videos of the way that that they do it at Giordano's. And so I basically mimicked that recipe for the best that I could do it. And um, you know, going to do that here. So you can watch those videos too, and you can see, you know, what they do and what you might want to do different. And then the other thing is, a lot of folks do pizzas different ways. And so you know, feel free to, to comment and share what you do, you know, either in the on the on this YouTube channel or you know on the Facebook side of it, because everyone can learn from what each one of us is doing and how they do theirs different. So you know, feel free to do that. Really appreciate it. Uh, so what we're going to start out with here, um, we'll just go through the ingredients real quick. Uh, most of this I got from Trader Joe's. If you don't have Trader Joe's in your area, there's other places that you can get, uh, you know, ready-baked pizza dough and sausages, pepperonis. The key is to get really good ingredients. Um, if you, that's one of the most important pieces. Is if you get ingredients that aren't very good, pizza's not very good, right? So you got to get good ingredients and stuff that you like. So for starters. Um, this is a, a ready-to-bake pizza dough from Trader Joe's. They've got multiple flavors. This is just the regular one. We also like the garlic herb. It's pretty good. Um, not your favorite though, right? <laughs> so anyways, but that's one of our favorites and you know I'll have all this stuff in there. Um, so just follow the instructions for what you're supposed to do with the dough because we're going to basically put some flour on that, roll it in a loose ball, and leave it for about 30 minutes and then we're going to roll it out. Um, and then this is some uh, Italian spicy sausage. It's really good. It's you know you could use it on lasagnas or pizzas or whatever. And we're actually going to do a um, sausage patty, which I believe is what Gino's East does versus Giordano. So, anyways, we'll do that. And then pepperoni. And then this is some Italian, uh, basically Italian bacon, if you will. So it's a little bit different. We're going to fry that up ahead of time. Bacon um, bits. Bacon bits. There you go. And then here's some mozzarella cheese, and then this pizza sauce, again, that, that's at Trader Joe's, and it's fantastic. It's in the refrigerated section, um, and so it's really fresh ingredients, and it's very similar to what we've had with the Chicago-style pizzas. And then some uh, Parmesan cheese, grated Parmesan cheese that we'll add at the end of it. Um, so with that, the other thing I want to mention is, you know, this is a 10-inch cast iron pan, and the, the 10 inch works really well for us. You could do 12 inch or others. Um, you may need to get two pieces of pizza dough and you could do two anyways for this. I'm just doing one. I'm gonna split it into two pieces because we're gonna you know, do a, a dough down and then another layer of it, um, thin crust. But you need to make sure that you're really well seasoned on your cast iron. So this one's been seasoned well and we're actually gonna cook our sausage and our bacon bits, uh, dying bacon bits in it to kind of get it even more. And then we'll start putting the pizza together. So with that, my little help and I are going to get to it, and instead of talking a whole lot, I'm probably just going to kind of show, fast forward what we do and how we do it, so you can see that, and I'll put some descriptions, and then as we get to other stages, we can talk through those, but looking forward to this.
Okay, so we did our Italian bacon. We got our sausage patty here ready to go. And uh, so now we're gonna make the crust. And so in this case, it's, it's gonna be two uh, thin layer crusts. So we're gonna roll it out really thin, put it over the pan, and then set it down in there. And like those other videos that I was mentioning that they referenced, you really gotta tuck them in and make sure there's no air gaps and stuff like that. You could use two, you know, these 16 ounce things of dough and then use the excess for whatever you want to. In the 10 inch pan, it works fine just to cut it in two and to roll out, but it's a little tight, so you could do it the other way if you wanted to. Um, but with that, we'll get to rolling it out, and just a heads up, rolling's not my strong suit, but I get it done. <laughs> Okay, so I got it rolled out good enough. You know, it's just gonna be lined in there. Um, but I went ahead and I cleaned out my uh, cast iron a little bit. It got a little bit gritty with the other stuff, so that's fine. Um, and then you wanna get it back, obviously, to room temperature or cool. And um, so I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna line this with some butter. You can do oil, whatever you wanna do. But I'm gonna put some butter in this first. And that's, again, it's in one of the videos of what they do. So I'm doing that same type of thing to kind of get that golden brown crust. And then we'll set this down in there get rid of any air pockets or anything like that, and then, uh, then we'll get to putting our, our meats in. Okay, so there's our first layer of dough, and you can see it's down there nice and tight to the edges and the bottom, and after we put on the second crust, we'll actually trim off the tops and then we can do little bread sticks or cheesy bread whatever you want to do with that um, but you know like I said you know it's you just kind of lift up on the crust a little bit and just kind of even it out around the bottom so that you don't have any any air bubbles or any gaps down in there um, with that we'll put in we'll start with the sausage pepperoni bacon bits and then um, and then a bunch of cheese <laughs> and then the second top the second layer Okay, so we rolled out our second uh, top crust here that's gonna go on top of this, and then we're gonna actually pinch little holes in it, and it's what they do on their videos so that the sauce can actually seep down into, um, you know, into the cheese and the meats and stuff like that as it cooks. So, um, you know, we'll throw this on top, and same kind of thing, we're gonna turn it into kind of a pie, if you will, you know, with the, the crust here. So just kind of get it evenly set on there, and then we're just gonna kind of, you know, push down these sides to get rid of any of that air gap that we don't want. So we want it kind of nice and good on the top here. All right, so we're almost there. I did make one mistake. I forgot to put in my bacon bits after I put on the pepperoni, but I'm just gonna put it on top. I mean, that's not, I, you typically want it down in there, but that's okay, I mean, this will still be good. And then I'm gonna finish it off with some rosemary, uh, basil, and oregano. Just, you know, just kind of a pinch. And then some of this Parmesan, uh, fresh grated Parmesan cheese, just to go, go with it. And man, it, it smells good. You saw I cut off the excess crust. This is what we had left over. I'll use this for you know breadsticks, uh, anything like that that we'll, we'll put on with it. So um, yeah, I'll add in a little bit of the bacon, but again, you probably would do it down with the meat where it was before, but it'll still be good on top. <laughs> Everything's good with bacon. All right, so I'm about to put this on the grill. I got the Traeger set to uh, high, which, you know, it says like 450, but it'll be just 400 to 430, sometimes 450, but that's fine. Um, I'm shooting for 25 to 30 minutes with this, and I did this the other day, 
and uh, the top, I was worried about the top of the crust, so I had to take it off right at 25 minutes because it was going to start to burn. And it was good, it was cooked all the way through and everything, but I was trying to get a little bit longer time, like I'd prefer to do 30 minutes if I can, just to make sure that I've got all the cheese melted and everything, give it that time to really, really cook. And so I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on, the, on this edge crust to see if that helps me out a little bit because it's pretty thin crust. So, um, you know, I'll do that and we'll see whether it's, you know, uh, 25 or it's 30 minutes, doesn't matter. When it's done, it's done. And I don't want to, I don't want to burn it and it'll kind of start collapsing in on itself. So it'll, it'll, it'll do fine. So we'll put that on and uh, we'll see what we get in about 25, 30 minutes. Okay, so I showed you some video at right at 20 minutes, um, what it was looking like, and it was looking good. And then, you know, this I checked at 25, left off for a little bit longer, didn't quite go to 30, but looks perfect to me, man. I mean, this thing smells delicious, and it was, you know, kind of bubbling and stuff. That's I don't know if you saw in the video that some of these some of these pieces were starting to kind of bubble up a little bit. So when I checked it, I also poked those to keep it simmer down. We don't want any bubbles in it, so easy enough. Well, I'm gonna let it rest in the cast iron for about 10 minutes. I want it to kind of keep cooking that crust so we get a nice deep crust. And then just take this and work our way around it and then try to slide it out right under the pan and then cut it up with a pizza cutter and give her a taste test. Alright, so we're ready for the official taste test, and again, if you like tips and tricks on barbecuing and doing this type of stuff, what do we do? I do practice. Um, like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss another video like this one. Good job. So we're going to take a bite, we're going to have our mouth full, so really appreciate the support, appreciate you watching, and let's get this test graphic. Like barbecue tips and and. <laughs>